There is enormous messed up stuff going on in the world. We all know that. So what's the role of theatre during these challenging times? As the conjurers of story, we are the magicians of reality. By telling stories, we change the world in very specific ways. I've been reading about the role of story in the history of humans. Let's go way back 60,000 years ago when our brains underwent huge changes. Ow! Firstly, we expanded our language capacity beyond things like lion, danger, into more complex language, aka gossip, like let's follow her, she's the best trail finder, or he's a creep, don't be alone with him. But gossip alone can only organize groups of about 150-ish humans because our brains can't hold much more. So what enables larger groups of humans to cooperate? Or funny you should ask, we developed the capacity to create fiction or myth or story, the capacity to imagine things that didn't already exist. And groups of humans, vastly larger, thousands or millions, even billions can cooperate if we believe in the same stories. I can buy a banana using literally a piece of paper because humans created the story of money. And over the millennia, humans went a little wild creating stories. Stories like states, religion, political parties, and property ownership. Stories like childhood, universal health care, romantic love, illegal immigrants, housing cooperatives. Stories like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to go to the moon? Whether you think them good or evil or a bit of both, it is the creation of these stories that allowed us to action them into existence. In fact, no act of large collective creation or destruction would be possible without story. Chimpanzees can't have a feminist revolution because their brains can't imagine an alternative to Macho Chimp as boss. <laughs> they have no new stories and therefore no new collective projects. So, if believing in shared stories creates the action to make them reality, then it is our job as theatre artists to expose the stories that lead us astray. And the thing about dominant stories is that they're designed to look like they're not actually stories at all, but rather natural, irrefutable laws. We must uncover the stories that keep us divided and small, examine their territory and learn how to spot their camouflage, get our night goggles on and look for the heat, leave trails of sweet treats to lure them out, and then sit the stories down and have a long chat and see what they're all about, who created them, what action they demand and whose interests they serve. And we must find the stories that move and sustain us, the stories that inspire us into powerful action. And if we cannot find these stories, then we must found them. As the conjurers of story, we are the magicians of reality. So let's weave possibilities so compelling that we enroll ourselves and others into using our collective genius to make them reality. Let's lift up the voices of those whose visions and stories have been squashed. Artists who are Indigenous, people of colour, black, women, children, deaf, disabled, trans, non-binary, two-spirit, queer, sex workers, poor, working class refugees and so many others. So, what reality do you want to create? What would make a huge difference to you and your community and our planet? Even if it seems impossible, in fact, especially if it seems impossible, make it into a story. Make it into a piece of theatre in a building, or a piece of theatre that exists in your conversation with your family and friends tonight, or a stranger on the bus. My name is Sonny Drake. I'm a playwright, theatre creator and producer, and I'm recording this in Toronto, Tokoronto, on the land of the Mississaugas of New Credit, the Haudenosaunee, Anishinaabe, the Huron-Wendat and many others. Happy World Theatre Day! <laughs>